because we are very, very motivated not to change. And we have got to be more motivated to change. We cannot lose our time-tested role. So how do we work within this? This is the question we have to answer in years ahead. Websites like this, which allow me to give directly, they get immediate stewardship. And how long does it take us sometimes to thank somebody for a gift? I used to require my clients 48 to 72 hours. I want that thank you note out the door. They say, what? Yeah, 48 to 72 hours. Global Giving, if you went to Dennis Whittle's session, they now return the money if you're not happy with your donation. A woman didn't hear back after three days. They returned her money. It was $200. She was so overwhelmed, so thrilled, so delighted at that kind of stewardship, if you will, that within the next three months, she gave 1,200 additional dollars to projects through global giving. So what demands does this place on us as a profession? This growing insistence from donors for engagement on their terms cannot be ignored. How do we keep our hearts engaged when major changes are swirling around us, Resources are scarce, the global economy is collapsing, and global problems are mounting. Our work will be and must be different. But first I have to say that things are going to get more chaotic and fast-paced in our work. More so than now, so get used to it. We've got to be more knowledgeable. We've got to be more confident. We have to know how to use the vast range of technological tools at our disposal, both appropriately and effectively. We will have to take modest risks. Those social entrepreneurs are looking to us. And they're saying, you don't take risks. You don't really, really move social change. We want you to be entrepreneurs with us. We need to remember that not all donors want the same kind of frequency of communications. We have to look not only at our messages, but the way we communicate with people. And we'll find that out by testing and asking and listening. Our need to be accountable and our need to be transparent will just keep growing, particularly as economic times tighten. 